Welcome back to Midnight Movie Club and yet another breakdown for another Godzilla vs Kong TV spot. They just keep pumping these out. We actually see Kong falling into the hollow earth in this one. Let's get right into it. So the first of the new footage that we see is this new shot of Kong sitting on the aircraft carrier as the missiles are launched at an approaching Godzilla. And this is just a different shot than we've seen from the one yesterday where we see the missiles being launched on the boat. Uh, it's just an absolutely epic shot. I'm loving the look of this sequence and can't wait to see it in its entirety. We have these uh, sort of war frigates uh, either side of Kong, the missiles shooting above him. And we just see how bulky he is sitting there with absolute boulder shoulders. It just looks epic. Then, the reverse of that, we see uh, Godzilla as he's doing his best Jaws impression. Uh, as these missiles are coming down, when they hit the water, he actually dives under them. I think he probably uses them as almost a distraction to disappear, to then pop up and uh, jump onto the boat like we've seen in previous trailers. It's a really cool little nod, I think, to Godzilla 2014. With these missiles coming down towards his spines, it almost looks like the hero jump uh, that we saw as they're coming down into San Francisco. I don't know if that's intentional but it just kind of reminded me of it. We then see all of these helicopters appearing and then holy shit we see even more as they are all helping carry the load of Kong and if you look down in the right hand corner I don't know if it's an iceberg or a monarch base it looks like it could be a base maybe that's where they were holding Kong in that fake sort of simulated skull island and now they're transporting him taking him to the hollow earth I think this is what this could be he's getting taken away from the the snow area. We did see him uh, looking at Gia in this cold area before. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Antarctica. I'm pretty sure they've brought Kong to Antarctica so he can gain access to the whole earth and acquire his weaponry. Then after that we get this fucking epic, epic shot of a uh, hollow earth, all the mountains and the greenery and you know it's got mountains on the ground but then mountains in the sky as well obviously because it's inside the earth. It just looks badass, it looks like there's a volcano erupting in the back as we see Kong uh, fall down through the clouds. We then get another look above Kong of this aerial shot as he's falling into storm clouds below and honestly like how is he okay after this drop? Because we know that he's running about in the hollow earth, he's fighting other uh, kaiju in the hollow earth. So this fall must not do anything to him, he must manage to land okay. Uh, maybe one of the HEAVs like takes the brunt of the fall for him or like helps him a little, I don't yeah. know. Maybe the canopy of the bushes down there like uh, from the tree line is very thick and it kind of softens the bow but yeah. It'll just show how strong Kong really is uh, when he tanks this fall. But yeah, so badass. Uh, that net must have snapped if that's what they were transporting him into the hollow earth. Uh, and he must be shitting himself. I feel really bad for Kong in this film. Like, my man's just a monkey from an island. He beats up the odd skull crawler now and then. But in this, they're dunking him underwater, chained up to a boat. He's almost drowning. He's fallen from the sky. I feel, I'm really feeling for him, I really am. Then after this we just see some more extended shots of the Hong Kong fight between himself and Godzilla. As Godzilla is shooting his atomic breath up into the air, we just see more of Kong traversing the Hong Kong skyline, jumping off buildings as if they're trees, it's just really cool. Once again the lighting uh, from the neon of Hong Kong and from the, uh, uh, the glow of the atomic breath from Godzilla is just badass. And then we see a uh, kind of little extended clip of Kong coming at Godzilla with that axe all charged up with atomic energy and yeah it's just badass like I absolutely cannot wait for this. This was one of the better TV spots we've seen let's hope that they don't show us too much more but yeah let me know what you made of it in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this like and if you are new here subscribe thank you very much for watching and good night.